Yes, I'd like her to be in her early 20s, about 5 foot 3, petite, with dark hair, and a bunch of daddy issues. Uh, good evening, citizens of the world. My name is Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News, coming to you from our parent company at the Spunk Network, where we cover it all and give it to you hard and quick. This is Last Month in Music News, where we bring you sort of current music news from last month to distract you from your miserable lives. Don't forget the itty bitties in the plump backside. We start the broadcast off with Shakira. She said that it's going to be hard for AI to replicate her voice. Oh, I'm sure AI have the best samples available of yodeling goats. <laughs> Mitski announced her new tour starting in 2024. She's calling it The Land is Inhospitable and So Are We North American Tour. She promises that everyone that attends will leave more depressed than they were before the concert. She seems like fun to hang out with. Like a singing Greta Thunberg. Hey Mitski, let's go get some drinks. How dare you? How can you think about drinks at a time like this when there's a polar bear somewhere not able to scratch its butthole on a piece of ice? Life of the party indeed. Grimes is suing Elon Musk over the custody rights to their new child, Techno Mechanicus. The courts denied her request as they said that they would have to go through the patent office instead for any new product dispute. Sounds like a new G.I. Joe action figure. California Governor Gavin Newsom thinks that Taylor Swift can have a profoundly powerful impact on the 2024 U.S. presidential election. Well, she's already turned off 90% of football fans, so I'd say he's probably right. Grimes stated that Taylor Swift is the only candidate for president that can unite people and course correct society and fix carbon emissions in 10 years. This is yet more evidence for me to hate people. If you remember a story I reported on in late 2022, Taylor Swift was one of the worst carbon emission offenders. In addition to flying in her private jet 170 out of 209 days in just the first half of the year, she flew 36 minutes to another state just to get a cup of goddamn coffee. Grimes should stick to doing what she does best, giving her kids the dumbest f***ing names in the history of humans. Hmm. Grimes thinks she's the Picasso of our time. Rachel Zegler was in the news for, like, being really smart and stuff. She defended Taylor Swift from Dan Katz of Boston Sports, questioning the validity of her relationship with Travis Kelsey by saying, and I quote, If Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift release a sex video, I'll consummate this relationship and be like, Fine, you guys can have sex. You can be boyfriend and girlfriend. Zegler responded with, You will never see people speaking this way about a man. Well, unless Travis Kelsey is a 6 foot 5, 250 pound dyke with a mustache, you need to take a trip to the eye doctor and remove those biased lenses over those doe eyed peepers, Rachel. A woman named Wanda said that Barry Gibb from BG's fame stole her retirement money. Wanda thought that she was in a relationship with the real Barry Gibb, but it was actually a Barry Gibb impersonator and not the real Barry Gibb who was still married to his wife, Linda. They must not have had sex yet because if they did, she would have grabbed his balls and she would have heard that he could still hit those high notes. Charles Bissell from the band The Wrens has announced that he's leaving the band. Here he is in this pic practicing for his new job of being an accountant for an insurance company. This brings us to our wonderful sponsors. Rachel Zegler Eyewear. See whatever you want, whenever you want. Reality doesn't matter and neither does anything a man says. Ever. That's the only ad this month because Zegler's expert interpretation is dumb enough for both. Now I'd like to document a story under the who gives a shit file. Yes, I'm giving it attention, but who gives a shit anyway? This month's Who Gives a Shit is unrelated to music. This time it's about acting, or at least one actor, Idris Elba. Idris said that he's been in therapy for a year due to his workaholic lifestyle. He said he works in an industry that rewards him for his unhealthy habits. Well, boo-hoo. Most people work themselves to death and don't even make a livable wage, and they don't have the option of going on vacation for the next 40 years like you do. It must be really hard to swim in your $40 million net worth pool. Somebody hand him a tissue and pat him on the back. Everything will be okay, Idris. To Idris Elba's whining, I say, who gives a shit? Ed Sheeran has willingly admitted that he's had his own grave dug already. 
in his backyard. He said it's because he's had friends die and they have no wills and nobody knows what to do after. Don't know what to do. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. When I'm dead, you could put me in a cardboard box. I don't give a shit. I'll be dead. Ed also admitted that he absolutely does not lay in the grave at night while he masturbates to a jar of mayonnaise. Stevie Nicks was honored by Mattel by making a Barbie doll in her image, and she revealed it at a concert. Stevie Nicks told the audience, I was very overwhelmed. Will she be like me? Will she have my spirit? Will she have my heart? No, silly. It's plastic. Then again, it hasn't stopped Madonna from being animated. Hmm. Nothing against Madonna. The CEO of Hypnosis Songs Group, Kenny McPherson, was accused of sexual battery and harassment by former employee Sarah Lewis. I'm accusing him of fashion blindness. It looks like he's wearing his grandson's science project where he mixed five different diseases into one giga shit plaid jacket. It looks like you'd be able to treat a bacterial infection with it. The Federal Trade Commission has proposed a rule that would force ticket companies to stop hiding their fees until the end of the purchase. The rule is called the here's how we're f***ing you in the ass up front and you still can't do anything about it rule. Britney Spears revealed that Justin Timberlake got her pregnant when they were both 19 and that he wasn't happy about it and thought they were too young. It ended up in Britney getting an abortion. A 19 year old guy in the most popular boy band in the world traveling across the globe with hot girls clawing at him every minute of the day wasn't happy about getting his girlfriend pregnant. You don't say. Tune in next week when we find out that dogs are like licking their own nuts. Billie Eilish got a new tattoo. Apparently, they were giving them out at the preschool near her house on Art Project Day. That's worse than the Grimes tattoo from a couple of news videos ago. Keep them coming, celebs. Ozzy Osbourne said that he used to pee himself on stage because, and I quote, I was wet anyway. He used to have water cannons spray people in the front rows during his concerts. Here's one of the concert goers giving their reaction to one of the events. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this. Well, folks, that's all the news for now. You will like this video. Comment down below and subscribe. I'm Stiff Rockwood and this is Jizz News. You know what I always say. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Until next time. You got me all wrong, people. I was ordering my Thanksgiving turkey before, and not a prostitute. Gobble, gobble. <laughs>